Hi, it's Steve from London Media Lounge here in Uxbridge, West London. What I thought I'd do today is just run through a few of the microphones we use here in the studios in case you're interested. First off, this is a uh, USB microphone that we often send to our podcast guests. It's uh, Audio-Technica. It's got a XLR and USB, so we post it to a podcast guest. They just plug it into their computer. Really nice quality audio, nice and clear for the podcast guest. That's the Audio-Technica ATR2100 USB microphone. If we're out on location, outside, shooting uh, interviews, this is a nice one to use. It's a Bayer M58 reporter microphone. Nice, easy to use dynamic microphone. Plug it into the camera or your portable audio recorder. Really good quality, um, quite directional uh, up against the, the guests like this. What's your thoughts on the latest development in the town, whatever? Uh, about a hundred pounds. I thought I'd sneak in a quick mention for these guys. We use these quite a lot. They're a bit old now, probably from the 2000s. The uh, flash mic, it's a recorder. So it's got its own memory inside. It records to some flash memory inside. Couple of AA batteries, uh, USB connection for offloading the audio. Good thing about this one though, it's got really great preamps. You can record quite a distance away from a guest and then come back in the studio and crank it up in the audio editor and no noise, it's really high quality, surprising, uh, good quality preamps. If you see those around, grab it. Special shout out for Rode who are really killing it in this industry at the moment. We're loving their podcast mixer with the little sound pads. Uh, we use that quite a lot. But these microphones, they're at Rode Go microphones. You get a little uh, transmitter with the microphone built in. Also plug in a Lavalier microphone into a little slot there as well. And the receiver, both charge via USB. Very simple to use, just clip it on shirt or a jacket. They come in black and white. And then pickups, actually very good quality from this little internal mic. Um, obviously, if you want less obtrusive microphone, then you just plug in a little Lavalier microphone. Big shout out to Rode, who are really, as I say, killing it in the industry at the moment. Good old Shure SM7B microphone. Another classic dynamic microphone. The story goes, Michael Jackson used this one to record some of the vocals on his album, Off The Wall. Now, this one we use for podcasts because you can literally put this into any room, any room that's got no sound treatment, and it sounds all right. It doesn't really pick up much of the room echo, which is great. If you want a really high quality voiceover, this is our Neumann TLM193 microphone. So it's a large diaphragm uh, condenser microphone. Great for doing voiceovers, picks up whispers, picks up loud shouts, really high quality microphone from a classic microphone manufacturer, Neumann there. But the one we probably use most often is the old classic Sennheiser 416 shotgun microphone. So either above the guest hanging in the ceiling or on a boom, it's quite directional. You've got to point it directly at the actor or the guest's mouth to pick up a nice clear signal. But also try it out for voiceover as well because something like here, doing a sort of coming soon cinema trailer ad, coming soon to a cinema near you, sounds really good actually. Uh, LA voiceovers like to use the Sennheiser 416. There we are, quick uh, rush through some of the microphones we use here at London Media Lounge here in West London in Uxbridge. We've got green screen studios for hire, nice cycloramic green screen for uh, putting nice backdrops behind people. We've got this room here that we use for product demos and unboxing, that kind of thing. And also a little interview set uh, two nice chairs, chat to your CEO, interview them, ask them all the big questions. Thank you for watching. This has been Steve from London Media Lounge. Hit subscribe, as we say, in the trade, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.